Because we'd done it in our daring situation, we knew that there was a value in storing excess feed in years uh, when it, it, it's nearly impossible to eat enough of it, to stock heavy enough to eat it. And it gives you the opportunity that rather than um, if a season turns bad, you don't have to um, offload stock. You can um, put them into, uh, into smaller areas, feed them, and retain your, your genetics basically, is, uh, and keep the cattle in, in reasonably good condition. We don't aim to feed to fatten. We aim to feed to re maintain a two and a half to three fat score on our breeding cows, so they're in a good condition to, to rear a calf, calve the next year, and, um, and rear a good calf in that year. To make, make the best fodder, um, you're looking at needing the best quality in your pasture or your crop that you can get in the season, uh, cutting it at the right time, wilting it quickly, and then getting it into the pit, rolled, and the air excluded from it as quickly as possible. Really, the major thing is if you want quality, you have to cut quality. The uh, type of material you're digging it in is probably the, the most important thing. You want something that's going to um, have enough slope to, to drain, uh, high enough in the, in the profile that you're not going to have water draining into the pit at, 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 to any degree, um, and having good access um, in all weather conditions because you're not going to um, feed always in dry. Sometimes you're going to have to get to the pit when it's wet. We have used everything that you can imagine. In the early days in the dairy, uh, we used to make silage in single chop, on top of the ground buns, cut it out with a chainsaw, load it with a front end loader and feed it out with a pitchfork. Uh, we've moved on from there, thankfully. Uh, we use mostly precision chopped silage, but we do do some baled silage. Uh, the baled silage for us, uh, we just feed in feeders. The precision chop, we have feed out wagons, we load with a um, excavator and, uh, and just feed it out. We found that um, putting down pads and things is probably an expense we don't need. We just feed straight onto the ground. Wastage um, for us is mostly a case of making sure you're feeding at a rate that will allow the, that will allow the cattle to clean up what they're given in any particular feeding period, whether it be every day, every second day. Um, so it's more a case of governing how much you are giving them. We try to make sure that when we are feeding silage, that they've been had their health um, requirements looked after. They've been drenched, they've been vaccinated. And if those things are all in place, um, it is more a case of the amount of feed you give them, the quality of the feed, and you you watch while you're working with them and, and know that over a period, they're either holding weight, losing weight, putting a little weight on. Next drive period, we will definitely combine mobs more quickly, uh, put them closer to our uh, pits so that we can just take away the time factor of having to cart fodder for the distances that we have in previous droughts.